greetings of the hour guys hope all are fine in today's session we'll study a very important uh, some of the very important uh, nano materials such as fullerenes carbon nanotubes and graphenes so first let us start with fullerenes fullerenes are the latest addition to the well defined allotropes of carbon after diamond and graphite fullerene is nothing but as you can see on the screen it's a it's nothing but a a sphere of carbon atoms fullerene is named after the person who discovered it uh, his name is buckminster fullerene fullerene are of different types that is c60 c70 c80 depending upon the number of carbon atom out of it the stable form of fullerene is c60 fullerene is nothing but it is a hollow pure carbon molecule and c60 fullerene resemble a soccer ball it has 20 hexagonal faces with 12 pentagonal faces and 60 vertices 60 vertices each carbon atom if, if i take this as an example each carbon atom is connected to three carbon atoms each carbon atom is connected to three carbon atom and it is made up of covalent bond the average carbon carbon bond length average carbon carbon bond length in c60 molecule is 1.44 angstrom now let's it, it this is something related to the properties now let us move on to the application part fullerene act as conductors so on each carbon atom there are free electrons this uh, make them as good conductors because of its good conducting property it is used in the preparation of uh, nano wires and it is also used in the adsorbent for gases and also it is used as lubricants lubricants you know that it reduces the friction in rolling and sliding cont contacts it is also used in the uh, cosmetics cosmetics you know that it is used to apply for the skin and usually the skin cell dies because of oxidation this fullerene has a antioxidant property and it helps in regeneration of the skin so this is some of the application and it is also used as catalyst now let's next let us move on to the another uh, nano material important one that is carbon nanotube cnts it is also called as bucket tubes carbon nanotubes are made up of graphene sheets carbon nanotubes are made up of graphene sheets the sheets you can see here the sheets this this is sheet the sheets are rolled and they form carbon nano tubes the sheets are hollow tubes made up of carbon atoms and the size ranges from 1 to 20 nano meter and carbon nano tubes are of two types that is single wall carbon nano tubes and multi wall carbon nano tubes you know that carbon nano tubes and nothing but sheets rolled to form a tube single walled carbon nano tube is nothing but just one sheet rolled to form a tube multi walled carbon nano tube is nothing but multiple sheets rolled together to form a tube that is about carbon nano tubes let's move on to the next slide remember carbon nano tube it is a wonder material let's see why it is called as wonder material it possesses high tensile strength tensile strength means ability of the material to withstand the applied stress that is called as tensile strength ability of the material to withstand the applied stress that is called as tensile strength so carbon nanotube possesses high tensile strength that is 100 times that of steel it possesses better thermal 
conductivity. It shows good electrical conductivity similar to that of copper and also it shows a good impact resistance. So it is called as wonder material. So CNT's carbon nanotubes are very important for future application. Let's see where it is used. It is used in biomedical application because CNT's has a unique physiochemical property. So it is used in biomedical application such as drug delivery, gene therapy and also it is used as biosensors. Next CNT based ceramics. So incorporating of CNT carbon nanotubes into ceramics, it forms a composite structure. As a result, it increases the mechanical performance. CNT based fabrics and fibers. So this one, so fibers in CNTs incorporated into fibers, it, 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 it is lightweight and mechanically very strong. So it is used in bullet proof jackets. These are some of the applications of CNTs. Now let us move on to the next nanomaterial, the last one, it is graphene. First you have studied carbon nanotubes, second, sorry, first you have studied fullerenes, second you have studied carbon nanotubes, last one is graphene. So graphene, it is also allotrope of carbon. You can see on the image screen here, it is a single layer of carbon atoms, single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice. It is also a building block, block of graphite. This is very important part you should, uh, the thing you should remember is graphene is the lightest material known and it possesses a very high tensile strength, 100 to 300 times stronger than steel and it, it shows a very good thermal and ele electrical conductivity and the very important property you should remember is optical property it, it's able to transmit 97.7 percent of light this is some of the property last slide uh, on the application of graphene because of it it possesses a very high optical very good optical property it is used in touch screens for lcd and led displays and it is also used in energy generation uh, and storage such as battery, transistors and supercapacitors. It is also used in biomedical applications such as drug delivery for the treatments of, treatment of cancer and DNA sequencing. So you have studied fullerenes, carbon nanotubes and graphene. Only thing is you have to write the property and application from the exam point of view. Uh, thank you guys. Thanks for your time.